Hello. In this video, I will demonstrate how to use derived tables in EasyMorph. A derived table is a dynamic replica of the original table in its final state. It changes if the original table changes. Let's see how it works. First, let's import some data into EasyMorph. Now, in order to create a derived table, we can either right-click the title bar of our table and choose Derive, or we can simply press Ctrl-D, like this. Now, when we change the original table, the derived table changes as well. For instance, let's remove first two columns in the original dataset. And update the project. Now you see that the derived table doesn't have first two columns. And now it exactly replicates the source table. You can create as many derived tables as necessary. Let's create another derived table based on the same dataset. Again, right click and choose derive. Now we have two derived tables from the same source data. You can use derived tables in various scenarios. For instance, uh, you, can you can calculate various aggregations based on the same source data. In our scenario, let's calculate, uh, for instance, revenue. by state in one table and in, in the other table let's calculate number of companies by industry. As you see now, if I filter our source data by state, both derived tables have changed. If I change my filtering criteria, Again, both derived tables now, uh, now have updated information. Another scenario when we can use derived tables is data quality. Let's see how it can work. For instance, we have some calculations in our, in our source table, but now we want to check if if we had some issues with data quality in our source table. I go to the first transformation and select split here. When I split transformations in my original table, you see now some of them are moved into, into a derived table. Now I can create another derived table and check if the source data had any duplicates. Choose derived table and I apply transformation keep duplicates. EasyMorph has found two, two duplicating entries which means that our source data had duplicates, therefore I'd better apply deduplicating transformation. And let's run again. Now 
our table where we check for duplicates is empty, which means that we, we have eliminated duplication rows. Another scenario when we can use derived tables is to, uh, is to calculate self joins. Let's see how, how this can work. In our, in our data set, we have companies by state, by city, with the, with the revenue and number of workers. Let's calculate revenue, revenue by states in the drive table. Again, I drive a table. Here I calculate revenue by states. Revenue by states. Now we can bring this information back into the original table. But for this, we will use another derived table. And here we can merge back calculated totals by state into the original table. I add new transformation, merge another table. And here I calculate, I, I, I choose to add columns from, uh, from aggregated uh, data table. Stage short, okay, that works. Let's calculate. Oh, sorry. Have to choose revenue. Yes, like this. Sum of revenue. Now we can calculate, for instance, percentage of revenue of each company from the total revenue in that state. As you can see, first two companies are from California. So now we have total revenue for California. And now we can calculate revenue of each company as percentage from total state revenue. I add new transformation, calculate new column. And create a new expression. Here is revenue from sum of revenue. Here we go. The percentage is calculated. This concludes the demonstration of derived tables in EasyMorph. Thank you.